Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with Wanamaker Entertainment Group, the official ticket partner of Comcast Sportsnet. I'm also joined today by Chef Joe Grisafi of Corked Wine Bar and Steakhouse. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. So nice what time. are we making? So we're going to do uh, three simple chicken dishes okay. that the average person could make in their home kitchen. Perfect. So we've got our work cut out for us. Let's start. Yeah, let's go. Um, so here I have a nice hot pan. First, we're going to put the rosemary chicken Is that over. This here? Yes. Got to marinate on that? Yes, I marinated that overnight. Uh, just simple olive oil, rosemary, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of hot pepper to give it some fire to it. And, uh, you know, we'll just um, pan sear it down, uh, skin, skin side down. Nice. And we'll finish it in the oven. Love crispy chicken skin. Yes. Nothing like. So, just a little olive oil here in our pan. While I'm searing that chicken, I'm going to sear. Also, the other two dishes that we're gonna prepare. Mm -hmm. So, if, would you mind seasoning that for me? With sure, just pepper? a little salt and pepper. Yes. You see, this looks like it's all breast meat that you have. Yes, yeah, so actually, um, whole chickens we get it corked mm -hmm. and we break them down. Um, so I just basically um, took all the bones out and cleaned it up, and uh, skin, you know, keep the skin on so it's nice and crispy. This oil is hot here, so we'll take this. Chicken, skin side down again. Love that sound. That's great that you get the chickens whole and that you break them down yourselves. You yes. can use all those extra parts to make stock. Yep, stock. Yep. So important. So we're just going to flour the chicken. Mm -hmm. I have a chicken marcella over a mushroom risotto. Okay. Um, we're also going to do a just traditional chicken cacciatore mm -hmm. and over linguine. And um, the rosemary chicken will be plated over like a crispy fried potatoes mm. and onions and peppers. Beautiful. So real simple dishes, like I said earlier. We've got a lot to do today. Yes, we do. Now, I understand all of these recipes are going to be featured in the December issue of Lehigh Valley Style Magazine. Take a look at that and uh, yeah, you check all these out there. Profile on yourself as well. Yes. So you put those in skin side down also? So everything is skin side down. So why yep. did you flour them and you didn't flour this one? These are going to go over the top of the like the fried vegetables. Mm -hmm. These are going to go in more of a sauce. So the flour will kind of help the sauce just not really thicken up, but give it a little bit of a silky yeah. like later like on. some body to yeah, it. Yeah, some body to Great. it, yeah. Yep. We'll take the chicken here and with the skin side down. We'll throw it in the oven now. Okay. This way we can just get ahead of them, everything else we got to do. Then we'll pull it out, check it, flip it, and put it back in. Sounds like a plan. So I'm just going to throw it in. Just because I want the skin to get nice and crispy, we'll just throw it in right now. Perfect. Okay. So I'm excited to see these recipes What's, and your profile in the High Valley Style magazine. Can I get an oven for me? Yep. Such a great magazine just to find all kinds of great stuff to do here in the Lehigh Valley. Yes, it is. Actually, I've um, had a great relationship uh, with Style Magazine for about 15 years now. So I have three things to work on right now, the cacciatore sauce, all right. and the risotto, and then the ve fried vegetables for the rosemary chicken. And we're going to work on them all at once. All at once. All right. Yep, multitask. Just like being behind the line. If you can't multitask, get out of the kitchen. It's <laughs> a great point. Okay. So once again, we're going to just put some olive oil here in the pan. And you like to cook with a lot of extra virgin olive oil? Yeah, I mean, I actually, this is a blend oil. I okay. have olive oil and vegetable oil mixed mm -hmm. together. Kind of um, raises the smoke point. Yeah, I, I, I personally don't like to cook with like, just olive oil alone. Hey. Paul Conaway is here to join us. How you doing, hey, sir? Thanks. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank Good to see you. He's our chairman and CEO of Wanamaker Entertainment Group. We're in Center City, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been offering sports theater and concert tickets since 1957. So you do all kinds of different concerts and sporting events in Philadelphia, but what about the rest of the country? All over the country. Fantastic. We're never sold out. The best way to do it is put in an advanced reservation. Oh, what's that mean? If you hear of something, your favorite concert or a tour going on sale, or you know, maybe it's the Super Bowl, maybe it's the uh, wow. uh, you know the World Series. You call us, let us know how many tickets you need. That sounds like a great gift idea too. Being around the holidays that we're into now, you know, if I wanted to get my husband some sporting event tickets, maybe to a, you know a Flyers game for him and his buddies. You could do something like that, or you know, like right now, I happen to be on the board of the Philadelphia Pops, like 
Philadelphia Pops uh, Christmas Extravaganza oh, is a nice. great thing to go see. Oh, wow. And you can get me great seats, I imagine. The best. Now tell me about 2300. What's that all about? Well, 2300 is a new venue that we have going on. It is a great place to go see an event. We have professional boxing, wrestling, nice. MMA, and we also have a fabulous restaurant that we're getting started with some premier chefs. More to be revealed later. Oh, well, I can't wait to hear about it. Now, you're going to come back here and taste with us in a little bit, yes? Yes, I am. Good. Looking can't forward wait. to that. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. I have the potatoes, the onions, peppers, uh, salt, pepper, the olive oil. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit of rosemary in here. And I'm just gonna just honestly take this and get it out of our way and put it in the oven. <laughs> We've got other stuff We don't to have do. a lot of space here, so <laughs> kind of gotta, I cook a lot at home, so mm -hmm. honestly I'm used to you not having a lot of space and cooking for a family of four all the time. Uh, yeah, you don't so. hear chefs say that very often, yeah. that they cook at home. I cook, a, I cook at home. Where do you find the time? I'm like a couple hours off every week. <laughs> Good for you. It smells great. You smell that rosemary and the peppers. All right, so we're gonna take this. Like I said, we're just gonna toss this in the oven, right, finish it off. Ooh, Chicken's chicken looking out. good too. Okay. So I'm gonna take that chicken and just turn them off. All right. Okay. See the top of the chicken now is. Oh yeah, you can see that cooked. brown underneath. So we'll yeah. just flip these over here. Awesome. It smells great too. This chicken here is gonna be the issue, but we'll make it work. How hot of an oven would you normally put this on? I have it on 500 right now. Mm -hmm. That's a hot uh, oven. Yeah, it's hot, but due to the time frame we have to do all this, we're gonna do it at 500. Okay. Um, we also brine our chicken, so ah. like, you know, when you're brining chicken, you can kind of, you got a little more leeway on cooking mm -hmm. it. Keeps it really it juicy. Moist, moist and juicy, yep. All right, so peppers, uh, potatoes are done, onions, so now we're gonna do our risotto, mm -hmm. and then we gotta do our cacciatore. Step out of your way. Okay. So risotto is gonna be, can I get the shallots and the onion over sure there? Sure can. Shallots and garlic, should I say? Okay. Just a little bit of that there. Now, we don't have too much time here and you said you're making risotto, so. I blanched the risotto, I uh -huh. par cooked it basically okay. before I came, because risotto is a good half an hour, sure. 25 minute dish. Exactly, you gotta baby it. Yep, you do, you gotta baby it. You stay on top of it and stir, you can't walk away, otherwise you gotta start over again. Right. So yeah. how did you cook that to blanch? Uh, we put uh, basically just, just shallots. Mm -hmm. um, we have a chicken stock we use. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just cook it off like about 70% of the way. Okay. And then we lay it on a sheet pan, let it cool off um, every day before service. And then as you come in, um, you know, basically we do what we're doing now when you order a dish. I mean, it would be almost impossible to cook risotto. Right. Like, from scratch. So you just finish it off a la yep. minute. Yeah, but no, actually, I was supposed to put the mushrooms in with the oil. I'm gonna use this pan over here All and right. just, just cook these mushrooms off. Otherwise, they wouldn't really cook down enough, right? Yeah, I know. We'll just throw some mushrooms in here. Great. And those will definitely cook down. What kind of mushrooms are you using? Uh, we have some cremini, some portobello, and just some silver dollar mushrooms in there. All right, so I like to get the risotto in with the shallots and garlic, olive oil. Mm -hmm. and then what I'll do is take a little bit of the Marcella wine. Oh, so you're making the sauce for well, the chicken really kind of... For this, yeah. i got to make another sauce, unfortunately. <laughs> Actually, we'll probably just use that for, okay. the, for that. We so, can do it. Yep. And then we have here, so you get one more pan for the catchatory. So actually, what I'm gonna do, because this burner here is a lot better. All right. I'm gonna just switch these out. I'm gonna stir this you want me to sit here and baby this for you? Yeah, if you like. Okay, yeah. put me to work, man. There you go. Thanks. There you go, knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last thing is cacciatore sauce. We've got mm -hmm. the Marcella working, other dishes in the oven. Um, so cacciatore sauce, once again, oil. Let's get this nice and hot. And we have, since it's hot, we're gonna put mushrooms, onions, 
peppers, and we also have some caper ah. berries, some chicken stock here. We're just gonna throw in here. Loosen that up. Just a little bit. Finish that off. And we'll make them more so uh, right here. Mm. Let that cook down. So most uh, restaurants, they have fried calamari dish. At Corked, uh, we have a crispy mix. Yeah. People come in, they're like, oh, you don't have fried calamari. We do have fried calamari. It's just not just, it's just Ooh. not calamari. Little Be accidental careful. flambe. Yep. <laughs> um, so in the crispy mix is calamari, shrimp, artichoke hearts, and the caper berries, and they're all fried in there. So it's yeah, just a it's little, delicious. little different than all those dipping sauces. Place. All right, so the oil here should be hot. We're gonna throw some onions in here. It's hot, but it's not that hot. <laughs> no, it's not hot. It's not that hot. We didn't have a sizzle there. <laughs> so we'll just throw these onions in here. Peppers. Oh, we got some mushrooms. I guess we cooked all the alcohol out here. Yep. We're waiting to get that to go away, and then put a little bit of chicken stock in there. Perfect. Butter and most part, Marcel is done. And that's it. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. I have a little basil we're gonna put in the cacciatore. Nice. I mean, it's already in the sauce, but we're just gonna add a little bit extra now. And we already have some uh, tomato sauce here with basil in it as you well. You make that from scratch? We make that from scratch, yeah. You call it tomato sauce? I don't or call gravy? It, I don't call it gravy. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I grew up in, in, in Italy, they say salsa. They yeah. don't say whatever gravy is. Right, you grew you up in Italy? Mean? No, but oh, okay. my, my dad's from Sicily and nice. whole family's from there. And when they want tomato with sauce, you know, pasta with sauce, they say pasta con salsa. They don't mm -hmm. say gravies. Right. I mean, it's a South Philly thing. Of, yeah, South Philly <laughs> thing. Yeah. So risotto. So since I get the mushrooms in here, mm -hmm. I'm just going to take some mushrooms out of here and just throw them right in there with a little bit of extra sauce. The last thing we'll add is mushroom pate. Mushroom pate. Right, right before we're ready to plate it. We'll put that in last, kind of like a um, mascarpone cheese in the end of risotto. Huh. That takes the place here in now, this dish. Now, what is in this? That is mushrooms, all different mushrooms, okay. basically blended together. It actually has the mascarpone cheese in there mm -hmm. and a couple of secret ingredients. That, oh, you know, secret ingredients. People, all right. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'll put the um, caper berries, olives in. Mm, I love the brininess that they add. Yes. That's yep. what makes it Made really. A little bit acid. Yep. We're just gonna put some butter in here and finish off the Marcella sauce. Okay. And we have some white wine here. All right. Butter's just gonna kind of thicken this up, isn't it? A little bit. It will. It'll it'll thicken that up. It'll finish the sauce off. And Perfect. we can put it right on the chicken. This wine. Any particular wine you like to use or drink? That's wine. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> hey, why not? Awesome. When in Rome. Yeah. Let me know. Good. That's wine. All right. Sweet. So we'll use that wine. Just a little bit of wine there. Let me check the chicken quick. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Just throw this right in here. I'm just going to take some of this flavor here from the chicken. Oh, yeah. All flavor just right some there. Just some of it. All right. Let's put it all. <laughs> yeah. Let me get the chicken out of the oven. You know, I'll take the thickest piece right here if you're at home. Cut it in half. What do you got? Looks good. Cooked chicken, right? No pink. Beautiful. Looks juicy, too. Looks perfect. All right, so the chicken here. Mm -hmm. And last piece right here. Can we go grab the pasta out of the, uh, the sure. refrigerator for me? Do you mind? Okay. So you've already got this cooked? Yes, I cooked that before I came. Plate today. Took a couple things, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to dump this right here in the water for like 25 seconds. Just warm that right up? Yeah, just get the chill out of it. It's a great tip to cook pasta ahead of time. Yeah. To rewarm it in the water. All right, and then we're gonna add this sauce here. Mm. Put anything special in there? Garlic, it's, onions? Uh, some garlic, onions, basil. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's our, it's our sauce we make for the restaurant. Pretty classic. Pretty classic, yep, marinara sauce, tomato sauce. All right, so now we just wanna get this basically to a boil, and we'll be done with that. Okay. In the meantime, we'll do the last step here on the risotto. 
Gonna Add get that, that mushroom pate in there. Yep. I'm gonna throw that in right now. Okay. Tasting spoon right here. Mm. A little sweeter than I want it. Just put some salt in there. I don't think it tastes too sweet. Pate in. Mm, that's going to make it so nice and rich. Nice and silky. Yeah. Yep. Give it a little bit more flavor. Yep. Tame. You got the, the plates, the plating plates? Sure do. Just line them up right here and we'll get it all plated. Uh, Reggiano cheese here. That's and a must. Throw some in here too, why not? <laughs> Risotto, done. Nice Mar big portion. Marcella. When Joe comes to Chef Kitchen, he doesn't mess around. No, I can tell. You're pretty serious. That sauce sticking beautifully. Make enough food for like 25 people. Nice and shiny from the butter. Done. One down. Two One more to down. go. We have a strainer, so we just take the pasta. I'm just gonna throw it in here. I don't like my pasta to be just like plain white. No, so it needs something whenever, on it. it needs whenever sauce. Whenever we cook something, we're gonna take some of this sauce here, throw it right in here. Mm. Just a little bit. Pass that around. Turn that fire on. In the meantime, this pasta sits here for one minute. Okay. We'll just plate this dish here. Great color in there from all those peppers and the red onions. Yeah, nice, colorful, fresh, light, this dish right here. It's awesome. You don't really see chicken cacciatore on menus too much anymore either. No, you don't. Nope. I mean, this is a similar way of what we did over there, right. but it's a little bit different. You don't see too much chicken on menus in general anymore. No, you don't. You don't. Everybody wants to be fancy these days. That's right. Wagyu steak, oysters, lamb chops. Everybody I forgot the chicken. <laughs> Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. You really go big with your portions. Italian. Yeah. You know? Well, it's good because I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, what we're going to do is... Take a little bit of this, more of this sauce here. And just throw it right on top of there. Also just take some cheese, throw some cheese on top. And then, I don't know if we have enough room on this plate for oh, everything. Oh sure, we can fit it all in. We'll make it work. Awesome. <sighs> you got it done. We need a bigger plate. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to put all this. We have guts. And then up here. <laughs> this is more like feeding 45 people, not 25. A little garnish to make it pretty, of course. Right here. And then we use thyme in here, so we'll just, we don't have any thyme, but we'll just throw some rosemary there. Awesome. Clean These all look this great. up. Let's eat. I'm ready. Are you? Yes. Starving. Whoa, this is so heavy. I Careful can really that. carry it. That's one hell of a plate of food. So we got th uh, the chicken three different ways anybody can make in their house. Check that out. Simple. I'm ready to dig in. Here comes Pam Deller, the publisher of Lehigh Valley Style Magazine, and of course our friend Paul Conaway of Wanamaker Entertainment Group. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Joe. Hi, Pam. How are this you? It smells amazing. Thanks Thank for sharing this recipe, Joe, mm -hmm. with the readers of Lehigh Valley Style. Cheers, Forks. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. In our December issue, 
This will be a big hit. I know I'm definitely going to try and, uh, and cook it at home. Mmm. Not too sweet at all. How's the chicken? Mmm. That's, That's awesome, perfect. Joe. It's perfect. I it's can't really believe you just made three yeah. dishes. The chicken I know. is really good. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Very good. This has a nice heat in it, Joe. Mm, thank Delicious. you. Delicious. Thank you. A little, a little bit of red pepper in there just for a little yeah. heat. Well, I would recommend to anyone coming to, to the Lehigh Valley in December, uh, especially to Bethlehem, the Christmas city, that they get a reservation at mm. Corked for sure um, in December. And if they want to go see any shows in December, they should definitely call you, Paul, at Wanamaker Entertainment. Absolutely. And if they want to know what's going on in the Lehigh Valley, they should pick up a copy of Lehigh Valley Stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, it was great having you guys all here today. Joe, Pam, Paul, cheers. Cheers. Thank, Thank you, you, Joe. Thank Have you very much, guys. Those six seats? You have them? That's what I want. Great. Hey, I got the club box seats with VIP parking. Impossible, right? I know a guy. Wow, these are great. How'd you swing these? I know a guy. Check it out, he gets me everything from Broadway shows, sold out concerts, even reservations to Joe's favorite restaurant. The guy. To the guy. Wanamaker Entertainment Group. We are the guy. Call 215-568-2400. Call today. We are never sold out.